graphing exponential decay functions. The first thing to do is set up a table where you have nice x values. Nice x values are those that are, you know, um, small integers where it's very easy to calculate values. So here's my values here, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. All right, those are a lot easier to substitute into here and then calculate. All right, so if I do negative 3 for x, that's actually going to make this 8. Negative 2 for the x gives me 4. Okay, and so on. All right, so these nice values on the left, nice values on the right, makes it very easy to plot my points. Okay, so now you just simply plot your points, right? So this is point 1. Right, negative three comma eight. Point two is negative two comma four. Negative one comma two, zero comma one, one one half, and two one fourth. Okay, then you connect the lines, and you'll notice that exponential decay functions have this arc going down really fast, and then it goes towards the x-axis as it goes to the right. Okay. All exponential decay functions should have this shape, right? Um, you know, so they might be a little more shallow or a little more steep, but they should have this shape here. Okay, so if they, if you don't, that means you probably made a mistake when you were figuring out your points in your table. All right, and that completes our problem.